Ladies and gentlemen, there was a horn worn, horn warm here yesterday. Remember I told you I sprayed, so it's dead. I didn't even know it was on here, but I'm happy I went ahead and sprayed because it just would have tore up, it would have tore up the plant. So yeah, dead horn worn. Bye bye. Hello everyone, I'm just sitting down at my patio set here. Uh, let me show you my quick little harvest for today. Three cucumbers and some quamquats. Um, I don't like these quamquats. They're not um, sweet enough. So, sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna find some different quamquat trees. I heard there's a variety that's very sweet. I'm just picking them because they're there. I'm gonna wash them off and try them, but yeah, I'm not liking these. When I grew up, I loved quamquats, and these do not taste like the ones I used to know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Just a moment. I'm gonna drive my car into the Acura dealership. I am, I'm, I'm not gonna drive it in. I'm going to get it towed in, call AAA, and get the car towed in. So I had to take, I had to take my mom's car to get my hair cut. Needless to say, all of that, um, I'm going to try to at least get in the garden tomorrow and, um, cut out the corn, take out the corn, till the soil, um, probably take out the gladiosis, the flowers, till that soil, put some more soil in there. And if I have energy late in the evening, like right now, then I'll start replanting the corn and stuff. I really got to get in my shed. Um, my shed is a hot mess clean out the um, uh, the arrow garden the white garden I'm going to get rid of that and I think I'm gonna start setting up the um, the aquaponics sorry the aquaponics with the fishes there is a uh, aquarium place in the city next to me so if they're open on Sunday uh, maybe I'll go there I'm just like, I'm like really tired, but I did get out and um, water the garden. Um, I keep hesitating, sorry. Water the garden and I actually cut some more leaves and stuff off of the cucumber plants and I sprayed seven, S-E-V-I-N. I'm gonna tell you now, I am a master gardener. I do not recommend you use seven, S-E-V-I-N on your garden because it can kill beneficials, okay? But <clears throat> every year you hear me saying that I have aphids. I get aphids like, like crazy and, um, and the green hornworms. So I spray the cucumbers, the watermelons, the squash, the eggplants, um, everything, because I just get an intense, an intense amount um, of aphids. I do everything I can and the aphids just come on. Um, I try to leave the air at the bottom of the plants so you know the leaves and stuff are not getting wet. Um, eventually, I'm gonna put in a drip system I don't even think a drip system would help. I just think my soil and garden and everything just really attracts aphids, they attract flies. My garden attracts everything, it attracts beneficials. So if beneficials are coming in, pests are coming in too. So I waited till now because I don't see any bees, any dragonflies, any wasp, any hummingbirds in the garden and I just sprayed it down. <clears throat> um, I have my green um, trash container thing here and I'm going to leave it here I'm going to clean up the garden some more tomorrow but I really want to get that corn out and I want to plant more corn because I want to get more corn um, half of the corn we use um, when my brother came over he barbecued and he barbecued half of it so I just don't have enough um, when I grow veggies and fruit, um, I try to get enough for me to store, to me to can, for me to freeze, for me to dry, for me to do whatever I got to do. And I just didn't get enough corn. We're in July. 
we're going to be hot, hot until October, so I know I can get a second crop um, of corn in. Another thing tonight, um, sorry, um, I think I'm going to start ordering metal garden beds. I was looking at the Epic Gardener. I love him. I, I, I love Mr. Uh, Mr. Kevin and, and Jocks. They're really good. And they're my Southern California neighbors. They're in San Diego County and I'm in Riverside County. They're in the better county. My county is like in the middle of land and they're near the sea. But anyway, I digress on that. Um, but of course, uh, Kevin has a lot of birdies raised beds. They're expensive. Sorry. That is a very short street behind me. And I could tell that car did not stop at the stop sign. And there's another street with a stop sign. And I pray he doesn't hit anybody. Oh, my God. And there's a, a school right behind me. Even though it's Friday, even if school's not out, it's just the point that these are residential areas and they and they drive and they drive like that. Anyway, I digress. So I'm gonna try to buy me um, a birdie's bed and I'm gonna put strawberries all through it. All through it. Um, my strawberries did not do good over here, all those strawberry plants I bought, but um, I don't regret it, I'm trying. The first year I bought strawberries, they did really well but this year they're not they're not doing good and I had to pull those plants out and this is year three <clears throat> so he has a full bed of just strawberries um, I think I'm going to try that um, I think I'm gonna pull out my raspberry plants they um, the golden ones did really good and I think I'm gonna stick with the golden ones and I'm going to put them um, in a different container They're 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 frazzled they're dead right now they didn't do good over there they did okay um, but they're they're dead I'm gonna move them I'm gonna get me some more straw, um, raspberry plants next year golden raspberry plants and just um, put them in a different container and I think once I take those two plants out I'm going to revamp the soil and plant some trees plant uh, probably my lemon tree and um, another tree in those barrels and that way I can have those trees in there for a couple of years without having to break the ground I think that'd be a good idea so I have some plans for my uh, for my garden um, I'm just I'm, I apologize I'm just really really out of it today I don't know why I'm apologizing because I have you know I'm human I have the right to be out of it but I was hoping to get a lot more I did get stuff done I cleaned it out but I am really tired um, I'm loving my loofah plant right now I I love that plant it has a distinct smell um, like a musk like a like a man like a, a musk like a, a, a cologne um, I just love that plant I just I absolutely love it and I don't eat it I grow it for the loofahs and I do use the loofahs in the shower and stuff but I absolutely love it I'm trying to take care of these cucumber plants because I'm not planting any more once these are done they're they're done and I'm letting those gar those garden beds rest for fall i'm going to let them rest and i'm going to try some other um plants that are vining plants um to go up to go up those trellises so that is it for this friday um uh, july 22nd um yeah there's not much going on so as i always say um Oh, there is something else. Um, when I was talking about my car, see, that's how tired I'm. When I was um, talking about my car, and Lead Farmer has mentioned this many times before, is to get keep your cars running. Because when I called Firestone to schedule an appointment, they said we only have two mechanics running. Two mechanics. That's how low the labor market is. Um, Either people are just not applying for jobs, which I find weird because I had posted a job on one of the career sites. I'm not going to say which career site because I don't want anyone looking for me, but a career site. And I had at least 12, 13 people wanting to apply for this particular position. Um, 
that I had. And I just let them know, please click on the link so that our human resources department knows that you are interested in the job. I, I've been, I've been, you know, as you guys know, I'm a procurement manager. I've been telling you about the supply chain, um, just all kind of things going on. I, they're saying there's a shortage of jobs, but, but there's not. I, I just think people don't want to go back to work after, after the pandemic. People have found a different way to make money, a different way to live. Nobody wants to do the five day, 40 hour work week. And I do not blame them. I don't do 540. I do 980. Um, I'm not on my employees. Like they, they do have to come to work. But I care about the quality of work and the amount of work that they're getting done. And I believe American employers <clears throat> are going to have to change their strategy on hiring employees. Now, with that being said, I have seen a lot of employers, hey, we offer work from home, we're offering these incentives. But um, they're also probably gonna have to change the strategies of their management styles as far as um, because we've all been there where we've had a manager or a director who has just been a straight tyrant okay no one wants to work for a tyrant so I believe there may need to be some training on um, management styles too but I was I wasn't dumbfounded and I wasn't surprised but I was a little like dang I, I have to wait a week for my car and then when I called Accurate it was like we we don't have any openings maybe Monday let me check for Monday and then he looked he goes oh I have a cancellation at 1045 you wanted I was like I'll take it <clears throat> because I can't take a chance of something really is wrong with the tire and driving on and have a blowout and I'm in the middle of California heat when it's like 103 outside and our our summers are hot it stays between 90 to over a hundred in the area where I live in, in, in Riverside County it stays like that all summer <clears throat> I can't I can't have a blowout when my car tells me it's time for oil change I get my car over and go get whatever maintenance it needs so if I have an incident on the highway where my car um, maintenance, something goes wrong, it's truly because it's just worn out and I didn't know about it. I do not like being stuck on the street. So I'm just saying, keep your cars intact. I know people are saying we don't have money, but sometimes like today, I'm, my mother's like, I want a burger. I said, okay, I said, I'll think after I come to get my hair done, I'll get me a burger too. And then I got a large chili cheese fry that we could share. $25. I told my mom, I said, not going back to joint, burger joints for a while. Because that's a quarter of a tank of gas for me. And I could be saving that $25 to get something else fits, to get some seeds, to get some gardening stuff. I mean, I'm... I'm really thinking about how I spend my money and car maintenance and being be able, being able to be mobile in California is critical because we drive everywhere. Geographically, our state is huge. It's just like Texas. Texas is like almost a big triangle and we're just a big like rectangle octagon thing going on. Um, it's huge. Do we walk in our neighborhoods? Yeah, could we possibly walk to a park? Our state is huge. It's huge and we have to drive. Um, even to get to the train stations, you gotta drive to the train stations and park your car and then get on the train. And we have a lot of train stations, you still gotta drive to them. So it's critical that we keep our vehicles um, in check. I'm hoping by the end of the year I possibly have a third vehicle I don't know I'm working on that because like I've been saying if something goes wrong now we're down to one vehicle and my mother's on kidney dialysis so at least if we have a third vehicle then I'll be like oh something's wrong with this car well it can't get fixed this Saturday okay well I'll just drive the other one and then we'll get it fixed 
we're not trading in cars both our cars are paid for and we're just gonna have to have a car note but at least we have two cars that are paid for and then we'll have a third one as an extra so I just wanted to say just keep your mind on keeping your home if you have a home um, if you have an apartment keep your maintenance on your key important items it's it, it's imperative um, keep up with your cars I'm just happy it's just a sensor for the tire you know I, I really think it's just a sensor I'm gonna go get it fixed and be done with it because that's gonna be on my mind if you got red lights on your car go start save some money and stop going to the burger joint um, I'm not gonna tell women not to go get their hair and nails done I know that's important but Think about some stuff that you can cut out of your budget. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything else any of us can cut out of our budget with this inflation. But yeah, see what you can cut out your budget and start getting your cars fixed. Because with the supply chain, they may not have the parts that you need for your car. And they're darn sure not having the labor to get your car fixed. I need an amplifier for my radio. I've needed an amplifier for my radio and my car for about a year now um i took it to the acura dealer and he said honestly he said just go to best buy and get some speakers and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go to best buy and set up an order and go get me some speakers um for my car so take care of your car get your oil changes get your transmission done get your radiator get whatever keep your brakes up keep your tires up keep everything up so that way if something really goes wrong then you'll be like okay i did everything that i i could don't let anything slack because it's just going to turn into a bigger problem and with with the labor market and with the supply chain that problem is probably going to get worse okay so now this is really it um as i always say please find peace within yourself Please be peaceable with each other. I love you all. Have a beautiful Friday evening.